when I got elected to the Texas legislature after the Trump administration, I just sort of assumed that every elected Republican in Texas was willing to fight the left as hard as we had been in the Trump administration, the elected Republicans in a bright red state like Texas. And I, Dinesh, was absolutely shocked um, at, at what I learned when I got elected. I mean, the Democrats literally run the Republican dominated Texas House of Representatives. And when I talk about this, not just in Texas, but across the country, people have a hard time getting their minds around this. It goes back um, almost two decades. There was a, a very liberal Republican who realized that if he could just convince all the Democrats to vote for him, he only needed 10 or 11 Republicans to become the speaker. Uh, that happened, like I said, 18, 19 years ago. And every speaker since then has sort of followed this model. Um, and so what happens is we have a handful of Republicans that team up with the Democrat caucus to elect our speaker. People are shocked to learn that just about every single Democrat and our speaker elections that ha happen every January or every other January, Almost every single Democrat votes for our speaker. There are deals that are cut, liberal progressive items they want that he commits to doing, you know, formally or informally, and he will stop conservative Republican priorities from happening. And the way you see this manifest itself is just shocking. He rewards them with powerful committee chairmanships. I thought maybe it was one or two committees on the margin. No, no, it's many committees. When I got elected, I think the Democrats controlled about 40% of our committees, including public education, business, industry, natural resources, transportation, corrections. Get, get this, Dinesh. While the Democrats are pursuing this lawfare against uh, President Trump and countless other Republicans across the country for just exercising their First Amendment rights, for being bold conservatives, they're throwing them in jail. In the state of Texas, all crime law runs through a Democrat. This will shock you even more. The most powerful person in the Texas House, the guy that Dave Phelan, our liberal speaker, hired to be our parliamentarian, is quite literally a Democrat Party activist. And get this, a former Barack Obama White House attorney. So it would be as if when President Trump gets reelected, if he hires Merrick Garland to be White House counsel. That's the dynamic we're dealing with in the Texas House. Democrats advance their agenda and bold conservatives are silenced um, and, and in some instances being banned from even speaking on the House floor. It's completely shocking and out of control.